All right, Shalom, Shalom. One we'll star saying all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the Apostle Israel, Great Millstone, and Shalom. Wakasad, Laha Bakyar, which is peace and mercy to the elect. Throughout the four corners, wherever you may be, I'm the brother Omar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. Uh, come back at you with another video. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to title it yet, but it's uh, just basically going to be going to. Uh, um, you know, if you are not uh, destined to, uh, you know, basically um, um, receive salvation on this side, you're going to die in a second death. So, uh, Lord, we're gonna obviously come up with the title after uh, after the lesson. But um, just want to hop into some scriptures going into how um, um, if you have not been uh, um, what's the word um, renewed uh, by the by the word, if you haven't been refreshed. Um, by the word, and if and if you have repented um, um, by uh, by hearing and receiving the word, you are more than likely going to perish uh, on this go around. Well, not more than likely, you are going to perish because the whole point of uh, the word going out is for the believers to um, hear the word and then uh, obviously uh, not not just hear the word but uh, receive the word. And what I mean by receive the word is to actually uh, partake in. And to the things that's written in the scriptures, um, and, and, and actually converting over into this lifestyle that the scriptures uh, prescribe, and um, you know, like I said, if, if if you heard the word and you have not been converted, and you did not repent sincerely, um, you're going to perish on this uh, on this side. If you are Israelite, and uh, you will come back in the kingdom. Um, obviously, if you're a heathen, you know what I'm saying um, you will. Um, die, I'm saying on this side, because it don't matter what the heathens do, you're not going to receive the kingdom. You will be in the kingdom, of course, but you will be servants uh, to the Israelites, all right, which are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all the way down to the tribe of Issachar. Um, and, but you will have certain uh, heathens, uh, mainly the elites of Esau, Edom, that uh, will not get destroyed on this side, but there will be, uh, you know, basically the first crops of slaves. Um, but anyway, First Corinthians six and uh, nine, it says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh?" It says, uh, "Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers." It says, "Nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind." So, the beginning of the verse it says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh?" Yeah. So who who's all unrighteous, man? Um, you know, basically, uh, the ones that are refusing to, um, you know, take heed unto the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, none of us are, uh, you know, um, perfect, you know what I'm saying? But we are, uh, the, the ones that woke up to the truth and truth and truth and sincerity are striving for the mastery as the scriptures talk about. We are try, trying our best, uh, according to our measure to do what's written in the scriptures. But then you have those are that of our people that are just blatantly, uh, being defiant, rebellious, you know what I'm saying, and just uh, straight up demons. So for that, they will they will receive uh, the reward of the ungodly, as as is written in uh, the book of uh, I believe that's uh, Second Peter. Let me see, I just want to make sure. I believe that's Second Peter two and like man, let me see. Excuse me. Talks about the reward of the righteous. Yeah, it says, um, Second Peter chapter two and uh, twelve. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Right, and these are talking about the wicked of our people. All right, they just refuse to take heed to the scriptures, and they just want to be rebellious. And basically anti-Messiah, so they're likened unto natural brute beasts, and it says they are made to be taken and destroyed. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father created them. The Heavenly Father, through Yahweh Shai, uh, along with Allah Hayim, created them to be, uh, you know, basically wicked. You know what I'm saying? It says, and shall receive the reward of the unrighteous, of the unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to ride in the daytime spots they are in blemishes. Sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, right? So it's just, I guess, it's Jake pretty much being straight up wicked, you know what I'm saying? 
And it says, they shall receive the reward of the unrighteousness, man, right? So, what's the reward of the unrighteousness, man? Thermonuclear fire. And if you don't ultimately get caught up in that, you will, what, you die in a concentration camp, getting tortured, eaten by, uh, you know, by, uh, by some wild animal, or just pretty much uh, dying from the four sword judgments that the Heavenly Father has already, uh, you know, has written to, uh, to take place. All right. So, um, let me see. Uh, where was I at, man? Okay, yep. So, uh, going back to 1 Corinthians uh, 6 and 10, it says, it says, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Yeah, so if you are, if you fit into any one of these categories, um, which if you are two third, or well, one, I'm not of the number, nor the brothers that serve with me in truth and sincerity, um, and the rest of the believers, if you fit into one of these categories, you were not, and you don't repent, you know what I'm saying, from your, from your evil ways, more than, you will receive, uh, you know, destruction, you know what I'm saying, from however Yahweh Bashim Yashah sees fit, and you will not make it on those chariots uh, for the salvation to come. Just like you had during the time of Moses, all right, you had uh, wicked um, people amongst our uh, our nation that didn't receive the, uh, you know, the promised land, and not and not necessarily everybody that was wicked, because you had Moses um, that didn't receive the promised land either. I believe it was just Joshua and Caleb, but nonetheless, um, you know, uh, is is something that took place before, man, just regarding salvation. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 11, and such uh, were some of you, but ye are washed, and ye are sanctified, but ye are uh, justified in the name of the Lord Yahushai, and by the spirit of our Lord, uh, by spirit of our power. Right, so it says, and such were some of you. Yeah, we were once uh, into these things. We fit into, uh, we, we once fit into uh, those categories that was listed in the previous verses, but once we heard the truth, we repented, and, uh, you know, started to... Uh, you know, live our life uh, pertaining to what the scriptures say. That's why I said, but ye are washed. It says, but ye are sanctified. And how were we washed? We were washed by what the word should say uh, in Psalms. Uh, it says, how us is war with us, a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed to the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is something, obviously, a pattern that we see what majority of our people, two thirds to be exact, they refuse to uh, take heed according to the scriptures. So, guess what? They're going to uh, perish on this side along with. Uh, the rest of the, uh, you know, the the, the the heathens, majority of the rest of the heathens. And when I say majority, like I said, because you have, um, you know, the, the elites, mainly of Esau, Edom, that will make it. But um, predominantly, uh, everybody else outside of the elect will perish. So, let me see. Uh, let me get this. What was I going to get? Damn. Okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Let's see. Uh, read this. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Revelation 21 <coughs> and uh, 7. It says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. All right, so the ones that will overcome is what? The elect, all right? That were already written from the foundation of the earth to get the victory over the beast, all right? It says, but the fearful, and we're going to that word fearful is going to say, um, um, basically faithless. All right, when you look it up, it says, but the faithless, it says fearful right here, but when you look it up in the blue, there's going to say faithless, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and, and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth uh, with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, man. Yeah, so this second death is, um, like I said, it was pretty great. Basically, what I was just reading about in First Corinthians the sixth chapter. All right, the the uh, the the lake the lake that burneth like you, the lake that burneth with fire is uh in brimstone. That the second death is basically um. The thermonuclear uh, thermonuclear uh, missiles being shot off on on Babylon the Great primarily and other parts of the world, uh, and um, our people dying in that thermonuclear uh, destruction. That is uh, what this is talking about. You know what I'm saying? And it says from the top of the verse, but the fearful, once again, that's going into the faithless and unbelieving, the ones that didn't you know don't believe on these scriptures, 
and the abominable and murderers and whole mongers and sorcerers and idolaters and liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with the fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So yeah, so the heavenly Father has already had it uh, ordained who is going to uh, receive salvation, who is not. Like I said, just something that we all, you know, we brothers uh, that are in the fight praying to receive some mercy and salvation because you know we don't want to be found, um, you know, uh, naked. As the scriptures say, um, Revelation 20 and uh, 14 and verse 15, we'll close it out. It says, uh, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire, man. So, yeah, if you are not found written in the book of life, you will perish. Uh, um, and like I said, it will be a very uh, gruesome, um, you know, harsh death. You know what I'm saying? So, Hey, I uh, pray, um, you know, for a few days and I pray that, you know, you're uh, counted worthy to receive that salvation and I uh, pray the Lord have mercy upon you. Um, first and foremost, I go for myself. So with that, I'm going to say shalom.